students, a very warm welcome to everyone. Today, I hope everyone is doing well. Let me tell you first. Today, we are not going to take our English textbook lessons. Instead, taking our little part of grammar session. Are we ready? All right, here comes the first session of grammar, the tense. Let's take the tense. Tense means in Malayalam, kalam. A set of forms taken by a verb to indicate time. What we have to specify is indicate time. Tense is the time. Tense has three parts. What are they? Present, past, future. I repeat. Press first present, second past, third future. They have their formulas. First, simple present, second present, continuous, third present, perfect, fourth press, present, perfect, continuous. They have their using their in sentence, present, simple present, subject plus V1 plus object. Present continues. Subject and is or plus ing form of the verb plus object. Present perfect. Subject plus has or have. Plus verb, verb, verb plus object. Present perfect continues. Subject plus has or have plus being plus ing form of the verb plus object. Let's look on the past tense. The same way tense change into past. That means as the time change into past events. Here comes the past tense formulas. Past tense. They have, uh, they have four formulas. Simple past, past continues, past perfect, past perfect continues. Uh, using the in sentence there, subject plus V2 plus object. Second, past continues. Subject plus was or where plus ing form plus object. Third, present past Perfect. Subject had plus V3 plus object. Third, fourth is past perfect continuous. Subject plus had plus B plus ing form of the verb plus object. Let's take future tense. Then as the time change to future which means that then it indicates future events comes the future tense future tense symbol future future continuous future perfect future perfect continuous their formulas symbol future subject plus will or shock plus v2 plus object Future continues. Subject plus will or shall plus be plus ing form of the verb plus object. Future perfect. Subject plus will or shall plus have plus past participle plus object. Future perfect continues. Subject plus will plus have plus being plus ing form of the verb plus object. I hope you get uh, three various tense. Let's go to their examples. In English grammar, these tense formulas are basically for the application. Proper applying. These formulas into a sentence structure will make 
the se sense of communication easier and perfect so here comes the examples of first present first simple present first example is he sings a song that's singular they play badminton that is pl plural next second present continuous he is singing a song next he are playing they, they are play, playing badminton third present perfect first example he has sang a song second they have played badminton fourth present perfect continuous guys you get it he has been singing a song they have been playing badminton let's go to our examples of past here we go to past simple past he sang a song they play badminton second past continues he was singing a song they play badminton third past perfect they had sang a song they had played badminton fourth past perfect continues he had been singing a song they had been playing badminton have a look on our future also first symbol future he will sing a song they will play badminton second future continues he will be singing a song they will be playing badminton three future perfect he will have sung a song they will will play badminton future perfect continues he will have been singing a song they will have been playing badminton students i in my belief i you got all correct ask me you uh, ask me your doubts later uh, everything is fine all uh, right that uh, is about our class uh, good luck have a nice day thank you